Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this Pro Tools 11 tutorial on punching in audio recordings. We'll also cover some other basic features like adding fades and crossfades, as well as consolidating our clips after punching in. Punching in a recording allows you to overdub another recording on top of a pre-existing recording. So for example, maybe your vocalist made a mistake and said the wrong lyric or sang a wrong note. So you can punch in just the erroneous section without having to completely do a new take. In this video, I'm gonna show you the standard punch in method in Pro Tools. However, there is quick punch as well, which I'll show you in another video, and also track punch, which is only in Pro Tools HD. I have a drum loop here that's gonna keep me in time while I play the guitar. Uh, so let's just listen to that real quick. So I'm gonna play in the guitar, intentionally make a mistake about midway through, and then go back and punch in a new recording on top of it. So about measure six, when I switched to the long chords, um, I came in a little late at about measure seven, and also the riff that comes back in at measure eight is a bit off. Right now I'm in grid mode, and you can see that when I drag with the selector tool, I'm selecting whole bars, because my grid is set to a bar. I want to switch from grid mode to slip mode, so I can get a more precise uh, selection for my punch in. Let's listen to this one more time so you can hear the mistake. Using my selector tool, I'm going to select the range of the recording that I'd like to redub, and I'm also allowing myself a little bit of lead time before the transient and also after the last chord that I want to replace. Next, I'm going to open up the transport dialog by going to Window, Transport. Uh, you can also press Command 1 on the number pad, and that's most likely Control 1 on a PC. In the transport dialog, we want to turn on the pre-roll and post-roll options. Really, for this, pre-roll is, is the only one that's really that important here. Uh, the post-roll won't really become that useful until we get into a quick punch in the next video. Pre-roll is going to determine how much lead-in time the musician gets before Pro Tools actually starts recording. So I wouldn't want to start recording right at measure 6, where my selection is, because that gives the musician no time to prepare and sort of get in the groove. We want the edit to sound as natural as possible. Basically, we want the edit to not sound like an edit at all. Uh, so turning on your pre-roll is a must. I'm going to set my pre-roll to two bars, and the values you're looking at here are bars, beats, and ticks, with ticks being a tiny uh, division of the beat. There's basically 960 ticks per beat. The little orange flag up here is showing you uh, the actual uh, pre-roll range away from the recording, so you can see it's about uh, two bars away from uh, measure six. All right, so let's give this a shot. I'm going to play in a new part to fix this. You'll see that the playhead will start just before measure four, but the actual recording won't start until measure six where we made our selection. Now that we've dubbed in a new recording, I'll use the trim tool to tighten up the edits a bit. Uh, then I'll use the selector tool to drag over the boundary between the edits and hit F or Command F to create a crossfade, which is going to help hide the edit. By the way, F will only work if key focus mode is on. If you try to create a fade or a crossfade outside of the clip's length, you'll get this window that asks you if you want to adjust the boundary of the fade. We'll do that. 
And there's a little trick that you can do to add fades to multiple edits. If you drag over uh, an entire selection of edits, you can press F and it automatically adds fades or cross fades to every edit in the selection. Again, as long as you have key focus mode on, you can do it that way. Also, remember with key focus mode on, you can use the T and R keys to zoom horizontally. Next, I'm just going to zoom in and trim up uh, the front end of the guitar and add a fade, and then also trim up the tail end of the guitar and add just a quick fade. Let's listen to this one more time. Uh, let me turn off the click. One last edit function I want to show you is the consolidate clip function. It's under edit, consolidate. Or you can press shift option 3 on a Mac or shift alt 3 on a PC. This will consolidate all of your selected clips and their edits into a new file. All right, in the next video I'll cover quick punch, which gives us a few more options that we don't have in the standard punch in function. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks again for watching.